part 5 of Final Fantasy 4 for the PSP. And in this part, we're going to visit a castle. But oh no! What's happening here? Old medieval castle can't stand up to air bombardment. Right, now before we enter that castle, we're going to unequip Teller. And we're going to do that. Remove. Let's see if I can put anything good on her now. Yeah. Because he's not going to be in the party for much longer. Chest. Anything else? Nah. Oh, did I just go back out? What? Oh yeah, I remember now, there's a thing around the side. How do you open this door? There's a switch somewhere. Oh, he's bloody lying in front of it. Get out of the way, dickhead. <laughs> How do I get through there? Unless there's a... Ah, there we go. Crossbow, feathered cat. You can get through there as well. There we go. And a ruby ring. Let's give her the feathered cat. Ruby ring, not as quite as good. Can she use a crossbow? Yes, but I don't have any arrows, so that's pointless. On the iOS version, she can't use any kind of bows. Weird. Don't know why. Don't know why they got rid of that. Can't go anywhere else, can I now? What's down here? More chests! Potion, eye drops, antidote. Holy arrows! Ether. Also on the iOS version, you have infinite arrows for some reason. So, like, you pick up holy arrows and you have them forever. On this, they're finite. So that's kind of sucks. Like, I'm not going to use them yet. I'll wait till I have a few more. Hopefully, I didn't miss anything. Maybe I should have checked that room for secret passages. You know, sometimes there's like things hidden in the walls or the corners. Doesn't look like it. Nah. But I had to be sure. Now, back in the castle. We've got to try and get to the top floor somehow. Here we go. It's Teller's daughter, Anna. And he doesn't think to use a spell, healing spell or a phoenix down. Wow, he hits him a lot harder than he did on the iOS version. Bard's invincible anyway. This is this isn't even me. This is just an automated cutscene. You could call it a cutscene. I hate Teller. Stupid old man. Use Cura! High Potion, 
Phoenix down anything, come on. Yeah, Golbez is pretty strong. I think Rubicant's harder though, just because he's tricky. Phoenix down. Right, you're gonna take Golbez on on your own. Good luck with that. Pussy. Ah, good old ant lion. <laughs> Should have used the phoenix down. Now as long as I'm riding around in that, I can't get into random battles. Which is cool. Oh, I'm already in it. Yeah, I don't want to be in that just yet. Right, I also want to equip uh, Edward. Oh, he needs to go in the back. You put him in the back, he does the same amount of damage that he does in the... Uh, no, that he does in the front. There we go. Let's equip him properly. Oh, he can use a bow in this game. He's got the feathered hat and barge tunic. Oh, that actually puts his defense up a little bit more. Probably better at this point to have regular defense and magic defense. Okay, he's equipped. What level did it say was? Oh my god, level 5. Deary me. What were the designers of this game thinking? Level 5. I can't go into the ant lion's den at level 5. I'll be annihilated. <sighs> Which means off camera grinding. Oh, I wasn't supposed to go this way, innit? Wait, yes it was. No. Hang on. Ah, oh, that wasn't the right way. That was the right way. You go up here. And up here. Yeah. Ah, uh, so that heals HP and the other one heals magic. Don't need any of that. There's nothing up there. Okay, I just had to check. Well, that's useful. That means I can grind a few levels. So, if you excuse me, I've got to make Edward at least usable. I'll be back in a minute. Well, literally a second. Okay, cool. I got Edward's level up to level 10. Took a bit of a while, but... I got there in the end, and it's probably worth it. Right, now we need to take this hover vehicle over in this direction. It can only go over these rocks here, it can't actually go over the water itself. I don't have to worry about any random battles. Oh, hang on, I don't want to go to that mountain yet. No, bad idea, not there, wrong place. That's where I want to go. This little cavern here, let's save it. 
yeah, that mountain is, uh... Yeah, we're not ready for that yet. Now, let's see. Ant Lion's Den. There's going to be a lot of interesting roundabouts here. Oh, wow! Okay, attack the lizard thing. Okay, good. So that other uh, mantoid is not nearly as strong as it is on the iOS. That's a relief. They're also weak to ice attacks, so if I can get lucky and hit it with Rydia... Yeah, on the iOS they're um, incredibly tough at this point in the game. This one, not so much. It's good. And I saw Adamantos and I thought, holy crap! Because I was thinking of uh, the other version of the game, where they uh, can do a bit of damage if you're not careful, or if you're underleveled. Right. So confusing, man. Right? different paths. It doesn't really matter who we attack first, to be honest. They don't do any damage. Yeah, you can both just sleep if you want. The great thing about Edward is um, his harp is very effective at putting enemies to sleep, even if it doesn't do a huge amount of damage. I mean, you put an enemy to sleep, well, that's, in some ways that's better than doing damage because they're not going to hit back. Always a decision with me. Left, right, left, right. You know, if I can only enemies we're gonna be this week, I wanna be involved leveling Edward. Nah, you should always go out of your way to level if you can. Especially considering there's free healing available just up the road. All I did was go back into the cave and I fought the bosses walk backwards and forwards because it actually had a better grinding than outside the cave hmm. ah decisions which way to go I want to attack the red goblin the doma boy is a bit tougher when even Rydia can kill you in one hit you know you're weak Yay! Stop, that's quite a good spell. Two Adamantoids as always. Alright. If I could get a hit with Riddy. Yeah, good girl. You see how much damage she does with that ice rod? They're weak to ice. Really, really weak to ice. It's just too bad she's not a very good shot. Be quite powerful otherwise. <sighs> this is kind of annoying though, there are so many random fights in this game. But I think they've overdone it a bit. It's going to make this um, playthrough longer than I prefer. It's because I can't really get anywhere without you know, this happening. But at least it's not as much of a pain in the ass as the other cave. My god, that was draining. Goblins. Puny, basic, level 1 goblins. They're going to give me like 3 XP. 28. Still crap. How do I... Oh. oh I want that. Miss that. Gold needle's good. If you get turned to stone, which can happen quite a lot, they will turn you back. Now you might wonder, well, if I hate the random battle so much, why don't I just run away? But experience is experience. Even if it's one XP, I'd still fight them for it. Plus, you get money. Money's really important at this stage in the game. Eventually it builds up and it builds up. And it all becomes worth it in the end. 
I become slightly over level. And I have more money than I know what to do with it, actually, because I haven't run away from a single fight. That's what happens. Never run away! If you need to run away, then you haven't grinded hard enough. Right, now I want to go left, did I? I don't know, let's have a look. Yeah, it looks like I wanted to go left. I wish Darkness didn't use any health up, that'd be really awesome. But then that assessor would be stupidly overpowered, wouldn't he? I mean, he'd have like... Oh man. Yeah. Oh man, this is so silly. The random encounter rate is way over the top in this. I forgot how bad it was in this game. It wasn't this bad in the Super Nintendo or the Game Boy Advance. This is just a mix of I can't even move without getting in a random fight. Sometimes it does give you a break and you can walk like quite fast. But man. And they're not even strong monsters either. Which I suppose is actually better. I'd rather have lots of fights with weak monsters I can kill in one hit. Than lots of fights with monsters that do stupid damage. Oh, there's an item there. There's a... Ah, okay, yeah. Should have gone left in the first place. Might have saved myself some time. You can see why some people prefer the other RPGs to the Final Fantasy is purely because of this. I mean, it's kind of nonsense, isn't it? Tent. Oh, they're weak to electric. Electric or critical hits would do damage to them. Black magic, thunder. She's not really strong enough to do powerful spells yet. She's still kind of weak in that regard. As you, well, good enough. Unfortunately, she doesn't get fire for a long while. Just not cool. And fire is very useful. But now I am getting fed up with this, like, just seriously, what gives, you know? No, don't attack her, attack the adamantoids. She can't even hit us. Still very much in the tutorial stages of the game, really. You know, weak enemies. Basic bosses. Right, so we've got to go in that door, if we can ever get there. And this one room is going to use up all of my time. I don't think that all the dungeons are this bad. I think it is literally just this one because it's quite a small dungeon. So it's all packed into this place. Oh, I can't get in there yet. I obviously come through there somewhere else. Alright, well. I'm going to stop there in Antlion's Den B2. I would have gone on further, but goddamn random encounters are just ridiculous. They really are. Oh, you can tell that, can't you? So I'm just going to stop there for a bit. And we'll continue another time.